as someone who uses carplay on a daily the first thing that i noticed after updating is this switch toggle icon now you can see now it just shows like a block or cube and if i press it again like this you notice how it toggles to the grid view and at the same time if i press it again it goes back to the cube view and so previously i used to have three different options that i could choose from but after updating it seems like the animation as well as the icon has been updated slightly and also at the same time some of the borders for different applications that you can interact with you can see they have more prominent borders as well so that's something that's good one of the new features that ios 18 apple carplay introduces is contact photo in messages so just to show you a before and after on the previous ios 17 when you were to go to your messages this is how it would look it would have the name of the person in the messages application and no photo or icon that depicts their initials would be depicted but now after updating to ios 18 you can see on the messages applications right here when i open it up at the exact moment you can see if a person has a photo that has been updated you'll be able to see their photo right there and at the same time if you don't have a photo of them or if they haven't updated their contact card Card, you can see it will just use letters to depict their initials this doesn't actually end there because if you actually get a notification from someone instead of just showing that hey you got a new message notification or a new whatsapp notification the notification itself will be accompanied by the profile picture besides the icon of the application where the notification is coming from so if you have two people that have the same name then that way you'll be able to tell the difference between the two people because now you can see the notification with the picture besides it something that's also new within ios 18 apple carplay if you go into settings you can see here they've added some new subsection and one such one is this one that says sound so if you click on sounds by default it will be on this first one that says do not change silent mode so when carplay starts you have the ability to be able to change the mode or the tone that your iphone is in so the first option is do not change silent mode or if you want turn silent mode off when carplay starts then you can select the second option or turn silent mode and iphone will not play alerts and system sound when connected to carplay and you can go down and basically be able to read more at the same time if you select 10 silent mode off iphone will play alerts and system sounds when connecting to carplay so this last option for me makes sense because you don't want to get modifications from multiple systems so this one is the one that i'll go with again something that has been updated that never existed before is new accessibility settings so now with ios 18 on apple carplay when you go in you have this accessibility section and if you go into the accessibility section you can see they've added some accessibility settings that have to do with vision and under the vision tab right there you can see these color filters and color filters can be used to differentiate colors by users who are color blind and aid users who have difficulty reading text on the display so once you turn this on I'll just toggle it on right there and now you can see you have different filters that you can select so for example grayscale it's the one that's selected by default if I go down a little bit and select green red filter you can see how that looks blue yellow filter that's how it looks or intensity you can choose medium low and high i'll just go to the high intensity and then perhaps we'll select the red green filter and see if it makes a difference so this is something that's there to help those that have different or issues with their vision to be able to differentiate different colors now again within the accessibility feature there's a new toggle for bold text and when you turn it on you can see how the text changes and before with the previous ios 17 this was a non-existing feature and it's good to see that this is here it doesn't end there with the new accessibility features that have been added so for example under physical and motor right there you can see if you go down a little bit you have voice control and voice control basically allows you to use your iphone's microphone to control carplay with voice commands so if we turn that on let's try and say open spotify open spotify 
Hmm. It didn't work. Okay, now it, it actually works, but it has a bit of a delay. This is my iPhone that's connected to the CarPlay. So let's see if I can do something like that. Open settings. Okay, it does open settings and it takes you to the previous page that you were on. So I've tried the voice control on different applications. It's a hit and miss at this point in time. It does seem to work for most default Apple applications like for the phone, for settings, it's opening and for maps, it's opening. And for third party applications, I was able to get it to open Spotify, but there is a little bit of a delay. So this is the new voice control setting. And at the same time, there's also some hearing settings that have been added right here so under hearing we have a new accessibility option that we can turn on that is for sound recognition and you can see the iphone will continuously listen and try to detect certain sounds while connected to carplay these sounds may not always be correctly identified so if you turn this on right now you have the option to to detect or recognize sounds such as car horn or siren. So I'm gonna go ahead and play a siren sound on my iPhone and see if it detects that. Okay, it doesn't seem to be detecting this. Let me try the car horn. Hmm. It doesn't also seem to be detecting this. It could perhaps it can detect that it, this is coming from an audio device like an iPhone. But at this present time, you can see it's not detecting those two sounds. I'm not sure why, but it's good to be able to see that if you want that accessibility setting, you can now be able to identify that and hopefully they'll fix this soon. In settings, when you go under the Siri and suggestion tab right there, you can see there's a section that says show Siri behind apps and this will allow the current app to remain visible while Siri is active. And at the same time, Siri is a little bit more more pronounced and productive and it shows banners so if you were to activate Siri and say something like what was the final score between the Edmonton Oilers and the Panthers you can see here there's this new banner that shows up and it's pretty large so you can quickly glance and see the one and the two right there and it shows you the game as well unlike before where this banner or this pop-up wouldn't show up at all so kudos for that something that wasn't updated that i was hoping we would see with the new ios 18 apple carplay update is the new wallpapers or at least the ability to give us the option to add custom wallpapers so you can see here there's this just black background that you can set now it looks okay it's actually pretty good you can see how it looks when i go to my home page right here and if you want a minimal look this is the one to go for but then at the same time you can choose this one too that will toggle between light and dark or if you want some different colors you can choose this was always existing from the previous ios 17 apple carplay update so with this ios 18 it doesn't seem that they've added any new wallpapers or at least given us the ability to add custom ones such as pictures or select different files of your choice.